some of you to hop on here. I tell you, man, it's been a crazy fun Monday. Let's set up systems. Okay. Okay. All right. So, checking my emails here, going through everything here. All right, so here's the deal, okay? This is, comes up from time to time again, and we always want to make sure um, that we get the word out, okay? I've talked about this many, many times before, too. When you're writing up a contract, this is very, very important, okay? Don't put cash down, okay? Don't put something down from somebody else that you can't verify, okay? If you get it from mom and dad or from a family member, okay, if you get it from there, uh, we have to show where those funds are coming from. So we have to show their account where it's coming from. It's considered a gift, okay? So let's say they're doing five, $500, okay? And they got the, yeah, John, Jets won two back-to-back -back weeks, man. Insane. So if they're getting money from mom and dad, okay, for the earnest money, okay, we have to show where that money's coming from. We have to get a gift letter. We have to show that money into their account and then coming out of the account, okay? Easiest thing to do is basically, you know, if that's not the case, okay, uh, let's say you have your own five, five, you know, hundred dollars. Don't just use cash or put cash into your account and then write the check over, okay? Because we have to source and season where that money's coming from. It's huge, okay? Because what happens is if you can't source and season, and what we have to do is back out that earnest money. We have to get the listing side to sign paperwork saying they're backing out the the earnest money deposit. And a lot of times that's not a big deal. But sometimes it is because now the seller and the listing side feel a little bit uncomfortable that they don't have any money locked in to this contract, okay? So the easiest thing to do is to paper trail where the money's come from. Don't use a cashier's check, okay? Uh, don't use cash. Obviously, you can't use that. But if you plop cash into your account and write a check, that's going to be a problem. We have to source and season where that money comes from, okay? So even though sometimes it's only like 500 bucks or 1000 or $2,000, we have to source and season where that money's coming from. So make sure that, be mindful of that. Uh, realtors, when a contract comes in, hey, where's this money coming from? I know you can't go too much into it. We try to give them a heads up on pre-approval. We try to set the expectations. But if they got some money coming from parents, then we have to source and season that from their account to get the gift letter, showing that money going in their account, then that money coming out of their account going to the earnest money deposits, okay? Just, just be mindful of that. Sometimes it's not a big deal. We can just back it out. It makes life a lot easier. But sometimes the seller gets a little skittish. Sometimes the listing agent does too because there's no there's no money binding this uh, to it. So a lot of times we can get that signed at closing that they backed it out and so forth. So just want to give you guys a heads up and on this. Uh, remember everything since the crash. I don't know how you know how many of you have been in the mortgage business since since before the crash. But I remember before the crash you didn't need any of this stuff. The biggest change. From the whole dynamic of changing from the crash has been documentation document where cash is coming from okay so even if it's two hundred dollars and that's used for your earnest money we have to document that okay sometimes we can back that out if it's just in a bank statement and it's not towards the earnest money but if that's towards the earnest money directly then we have to paper trail everything everything's about paper trail paper trail paper trail they went so far on this side after the crash they're coming back a little bit towards the middle before that, it was so, you know, loosey-goosey. Uh, I mean, now it's to the other extreme. So just be aware of that. Uh, makes life so much easier. And yes, you know, of course, we, we look like the bad people. And believe me, it's not us asking for this stuff. But it just makes life so much easier if you can just uh, document it from your own funds. It's coming from your own paycheck and so forth. If it's coming from somebody else, a family member, we have to document where it's coming from into your account going out towards the earnest money deposit. So hopefully this helps some of you. Uh, realtors, when you hear about this on contracts, believe me, it's not us trying to be a pain in the butt. It's Fannie and Freddie. We have to document, document, document where the cash is coming from. It's not because your clients are drug dealers. Uh, the reason, why, the main reason why documentation like this takes place um, on assets is that they want to make sure None of this is borrowed money from some, some other loan. So that could affect your payment on this new mortgage. Okay, That's where that comes from. So just be aware of that. Any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. You can text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great week. This week's been awesome so far. Today's been so productive. I've been so focused on tweaking systems and building them out. 
Uh, and it's going to be a lot more fun. So, yes, no, the Islanders don't suck, John. We're actually beating the Rangers. So thanks for that comment. Uh, and let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.